Hi, everyone. Welcome to People of Color in Psychology. I am your host, Jack Sen. And today we are joined by our psychology intern, Anushka Parag. As we make preparations to publish a series of episodes in celebration of Black History Month. So, Anushka, why don't we just catch up? How's your semester been so far? Oh, my semester's been good. Uh, like I was telling you, like last semester, I started in that research lab and it's the trauma and stress studies center. So that's where I've been I've been spending a lot of time there because it's like nine hours a week. So I work like three, three hour shifts. So that uh, I feel like I'm there all the time, but it's good. Like I get I'm going to get really good experience um, working in a research lab. So I'm excited about that. And then I'm taking less classes. So I don't feel as overwhelmed at all. So. Oh, good, good. Because I think you said you were at like 18 or 21 credit hours at one time. Yeah, last semester I was taking 18 credit hours, but I'm not doing anything like that. <laughs> <That's> oh. <true. laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're giving yourself a little bit of break as yeah. well as the opportunity to work at a research lab. And so today, you know, I, I'm really excited to do this introduction or to start this series because I started this podcast probably in March or April of last year was the first episode. Okay. And and one of the things I wanted to do was really have a a series for Black History Month, much like I did with the other heritage series. Sure, but yeah. because it was so early, uh, I didn't get a chance to really compile a list of speakers. But this mm-hmm. this year, we actually have a lot of folks signed up and we'll be doing recordings soon. So I really look forward to getting that all published. In preparation for the series for Black History Month, Mm -hmm. we also had you look into some of the prominent Black psychologists in our field. Can you share with our listeners a little bit of, you know, what you found for us? Sure. So I'll start with Dr. Francis Cecile Sumner who is known as the father of black psychology because he got his PhD in psychology and he was the first African-American to do so. Not only did he help to create the psychology department at Howard University, but he also played a huge role in advocating for the education of African-Americans. Interestingly enough, Dr. Sumner was also drafted into the army during World War I and because of that he was fluent in english german and french and was forced to work in the battlefields railroads oh gosh wait so he was fluent in english german and french yet rather than act utilizing those skills instead you're forced to work in the railroads uh <laughs> i think that just really speaks to the the pervasiveness and just the, the racism that happens when you put people of color uh, in these labor jobs instead of accessing the, the strengths that they bring. And of course, you know, back then, we didn't want people of color to be educated. It was seen as threatening. Of course. Then I'll go on to in 1993, when Dr. Inez Beverly Prosser got her PhD in psychology and was the first female African-American to do so. She wrote her dissertation on the non-academic development of Negro children in mixed and segregated schools. This got a lot of recognition because it was influential in the Brown versus Board of Education Supreme Court decision in 1954. Her dissertation's findings showed that Black students benefited more in segregated schools. Huh. So so why, why did you suppose that that was? Uh, They were actually more likely to receive affection, support, and a balanced curriculum in contrast to integrated schools because they were likely to have problems adjusting academically, socially, and in accepting their identity. Wow. As as you're bringing up those findings, I can't help and just think about some of the current issues. I don't know if you're aware of the issue with Harvard, uh, right? Uh, Claudine Gay. Yeah, so as you're talking about the study, I, you know, I'm thinking about this ongoing message that women of color and people of color have actually spoken up about, which is being hired as part of tokenism, but not actually providing the resources and support to be successful. 
mm-hmm. and how hostile the environment can be at times, especially when people reach a high position. Sure. And some of the you know high profile situations with Claudine Gay, and another high profile situation where Antoinette Candia Bailey was the VP of Student Affairs at Lincoln University, a Missouri, at a HBCU in Jefferson City. She committed suicide, and so people can. I'm sure a lot of folks are aware of that issue. So it's amazing how this particular research or this particular dissertation it still holds some resonance, or mm-hmm. at least that's what comes to mind when I'm thinking about Dr. Prosser's dissertation and creating an environment where you're supporting mm-hmm. people so that they can thrive. Absolutely. So, yeah. And so, it, what else did you find? Sure. Yeah. In 1968, Dr. Joseph White laid the foundation to create Black psychology because the field of psychology actually maintained a huge lack of attention to diversity. Dr. White went on to establish the Association of Black Psychologists and the APA in 1968. Then following that, in 1972, Dr. Robert Williams created the Black Intelligence Test of cultural homogeneity and proved that standard testing skewed IQ results for Black Americans by using vernacular that is not familiar to them at all. While this is only a few of the people who helped advance Black psychology to the point where it is today, it is important to recognize the huge impact they made on the field of psychology and the overall fight for equal rights. Wow. So, you know, there's definitely a lot of Black psychologists that Unfortunately, we just didn't learn about in graduate school in my time, and so thank you very much for shining some light in their contributions. And as part of the series for Black History Month, we will be showcasing actually several Black psychologists and mental health professionals in the field who will be talking about their work. So I hope our listeners can stay tuned for the series. With that, I want to thank everybody for listening. I am your host, Jack Sun, and Anushka Prague. <laughs>